Good morning from Epcot. We're here today for the International Festival of the Arts. <laughs> That's what we're segment. here for. Yeah. I haven't been to the festival this year yet. This is It's your only been happening like for a week and a half. So. But this is your second trip. So we're gonna try some new things. We're gonna try some some favorite things. We might do the colorful walk of colorful cuisine. <laughs> the What's wonderful, wonderful walk. walk of colorful cuisine. I also want to see the world celebration area. I haven't seen it yet. I want to do the paint by numbers too. I missed that. I want to see some merch today. There's so many things that we can do today. The world is our paintbrush. Oh, look at that. Yeah, okay, like that. Wow. <laughs> Let's head in. See what we can find. Here's something that we did. Jen did one of these tiny world photos and she's never oh, done one we before. We did it together. I know we did it together but I've you've never, never done, done one before. Yeah this is my first time. It's been around for I think a few years now. Did you like it? I, I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Was oh, it everything you hoped it would be? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I always like to use Spaceship Earth as a gauge as to how busy it is. It's not open yet though. So we don't know. Could be busier than anything. And we'll never know. Yeah there he is. See there's Mr. Walter. But yeah this is this is it. World celebration. Welcome. It's loud in here, the and there line, are seats. The line's pretty short. Should we take a picture with Walt? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, I'm gonna get in line. Okay, here we are. We're gonna take a picture with Walt the Dreamer. And if you notice, the background is kind of like his map of Epcot when he was first pitching the idea of Epcot. I had a whole thought process of what I wanted to do for my poses with Walt. And as soon as I put my arm around her, or around him, she said, sir, we're gonna take our arm off. And then she like had specific poses that she had us do. And I was like, but I had some poses in mind too. But she's like, no, you're doing these. I was like, okay, we'll do these. But then I took a selfie. Haha. -ha. First stop into Creation Shop. I'm gonna look at some of the festival merch. Oh man, this feels like my childhood. Right here, like I would have got this plush for like doing Book It at Pizza Hut. What? I don't oh, he's like busting through the painting. It says Epcot's International Festival of the Arts 2024 and Figment is bursting out of it. I imagine we will see these at the outlet. Yeah, probably, <laughs> but I like it. It's $25. Yeah. I don't know if I would ever buy it, but I do like it. There's a Festival of the Arts Munchling with Figment. What is he? He is a Fig Claire Figment. Oh. Instead of an Eclair, it's a Fig Claire. So, somebody did tell me that they stopped making these smell, but this one smells. Yeah, I can smell it from over here. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah. Uh, question. What? Why are we trying so hard with figment and not just like going with like figgy pudding, fig newton, fig souffle? I think they want it. I've never had a fig souffle before. I mean, uh, some sort of fig something or other. It's a fig clare. Fig clare? Yeah, and there's figs in it. Okay. <laughs> Does it say what it smells like? Figs. I'm just saying, is this what figs smell like? I have no idea. Ah, see, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Jack Skellington smells like? Ooh, I don't know. Where is he? Right oh, he's a, he's a mystery? Oh, is he a s'more? No, I'm just saying, I, I would imagine he smells like a s'more. Does it say what you, each one smells like? He's he a white a... chocolate covered pretzel. Okay. Oh, weird. I like that. Look at this one. He's a jalapeno popper. Pascal. Ooh, I would. I love jalapeno poppers. Whoa. What's the green alien? Wasabi pea. Oh, so this is that. all, uh, it's like, like Asian themed meals? Yeah, it's like a bowl of ramen. Oh, cool. That's fun. Okay. Oh, that's where I got the idea of s'mores from was Baymax. Yeah. It's a coffee mug. This looks like a s'more, but it's Baymax. This feels very vintage, doesn't it? Oh yeah, and it has like the drip. The drip? Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's the back. I thought you were talking about like swag. No. Like the drip. I didn't even look at the price of it. It was 20 bucks. I do love Cork School, local company. Oh yeah. So this is a Festival of the Arts Cork School for $55. I love the colors. Yeah. I would um, just buy a Cork School that's this purple color. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah, I like that we're doing uh, like tie-dye now. Like it's nice, it's $40. So one thing I wanted to mention is there is a lug bag. We'll put a picture of it on the screen, right in between us here. Mike Wazowski me. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that bag is sold out. It sold out on the first day. And we were asking them about it. They said it might be back mid-February, but I'm like, the festival ends mid-February. Like the beginning of February, the festival's done. So like, is this Festival of the Arts bag going to come back before the festival's done? Or like after? Jen just like disappeared and she's like, ooh, this shirt. Oh, because I like this shirt. It's nice. <laughs> the most magical place on earth. Where are the places? That's right here. Is it not? No. Oh no. Look at this. All-Star Legends. This one's fun too because it feels like vintagey. Same with this one over here. What's oh, I that? Like the color of this one. 
You came here for the magic? Too bad. Make your own magic. <laughs> well, they have Valentine's Day stuff out already. Oh, yeah. Look at this one. Yeah. I wish we had, like, the sweetheart nights and stuff oh, like yeah. that. I wish we did that here. So we came out of Creation Shop, and we were just looking around at some of the art outside. I like this stitch one. It's fun. Like, if we had, like, a, a beach house, <laughs> I'd put that in it. We were thinking I we should like get some food. But the booth's open at 11, and right now it's like 10.47. We're never here this early. We're always here later in the day or right. after opening. So it's it's weird to be here before the booths are open. Right. But I also wanted to mention, we just ran into Winter. We were just walking through, and Winter gave us these really cool pins from Imagineering. Look at that. So right. Sorcerer Mickey. This is, I'm going to put it on my bag right now. Heck yeah. I always feel weird about this kind of stuff because I, I feel like it should stay in its packaging. No, and it's meant... You shouldn't like use it. Listen here. I know that's just Walt who I am. Walt wouldn't leave stuff in the package. No, I know he would totally like put his pin on his his waist bag. Yeah, <laughs> he would. Could you imagine Walt with a fanny pack? Yeah, I can. I can. But he would rock it. I'm gonna put it on my bag right now. It's very special. Yeah. Also, one of the other things we wanted to do, like we said, was the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. Color does brighten things up, doesn't it? Walt Disney doesn't leave things in the package. This <laughs> is. <laughs> That's the, the sub quote right there. So it's like purchase any five items. So we've done things like this before. You don't have to purchase like one, two, three, four, five. You can do like one, two, three, four, five, right? Get five tomato soups. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, so, is this everything on the list? Yeah, there's six things on the oh, list. Oh, okay. And then when you're done, you get this completer cookie that looks like an artist palette. Mm. So there's six things on the list. Which one's getting cut? The purple uh, pastry tart with purple icing. Oh, really? I don't know. Have they had that before? Kinda it's sounds just good. a pop tart. It's just a, yeah, I feel like that one's the most boring. Okay. This one's new this year. Okay. So we could do that for sure. I wonder Deconstructed dish is right there. So we could kick it off with a key lime it? pie and some uh, BLT, a deconstructed BLT. Should we do it? We got like 10 minutes. What if we like rope drop that line? Yeah, look, they're getting the brioche ready right Ooh. here. It smells so good. Right? I can't, like, I wish I could explain that. I wish there was smell vision When do you think that's going to come out? Uh, smell a vision for question. YouTube? Yeah. I'm sure it will. 2026, coming to YouTube, <laughs> breaking. So this is the Cuisine Classique booth, and they've got the Beef Wellington and the Prince Edward Island mussels. So it's interesting. I want to make sure we read these, but this are, these are braised dishes inspired by the art of the 18th and 19th century. What? I don't know. That's what I, th I just think it's interesting. So the beef Wellington and the Prince Edward Island mussels. I'd like mussels. <laughs> I'd like to look up and see who an artist from the 18th and 19th century was and see like, did they love beef Wellington? I mean, it's just inspired by the artwork. Oh, okay. Let me, let me there look it up. A, a painting of century. beef Wellington somewhere? <laughs> <Maybe. laughs> Some Prince Edward Island mussels? So the artistic movement of the 19th century was romanticism, Baroque neo what was it neoclassical yeah so those different types of art inspired beef wellington <laughs> and no, no. cast iron roasted mussels <laughs> so i guess romanticism is the attitude that characterized many works of literature painting music architecture um histo histiography uh, that's it that's a new word <laughs> histiography yeah. i'm still i'm still really trying to land this uh this beef wellington like, why, why is the Beef Wellington inspired by this art? Oh, I guess the greatest painter in the 18th century was T. Polo. Okay. But, like, says who? Who yeah. says? Says that guy. Whoever wrote this article? Yeah. The Met Museum. I guess they, pro they probably know. Yeah, they have a gala. <laughs> they know things. So, as you all know, for Halloween, people go to Mickey's Not So Scary dressed up as characters. We're in our... This is going to be me and Jen this year. Are we going to be these guys? Those guys, yeah. Oh, I just thought this was like our spot. We're in the right spot. Because yeah, we're in the cool exit. The cool crossing. Cool crossing. Yeah. But like, I want to go as these guys. Okay. Uh, we'll have briefcases and gigantic Coca-Colas. <laughs> so big. <laughs> so big. <laughs> we're just kind of killing time for the booth opens. Uh, we're going over here to Deconstructed Dish, which is just outside of Test Track. Here's what we're getting. We're getting the, I'm probably going to get the Deconstructed BLT. Counts as a snack credit for the Disney Dining Plan. Uh which is pork belly, onion bread pudding, watercress espuma, and tomato jam for $7.25. So I think espuma is like foam. Okay. I think. We'll, right. we'll, yeah. We'll find out. And then the deconstructed key lime pie is also a snack credit and part of the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. That's what this little emblem over here means. And then it's flexible key lime curd, 
key lime in quotes mousse, I don't know why it's in quotes, graham cracker cake and meringues for six fifty. Is it like, it's most nearly key lime? I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of, I, we should ask them, what does that mean? Right? There they are, they're raising it up. Oh, it got stuck for a second. Oh, oh going back down. Oh, jeez. Going back up, going back down. <laughs> oh. We tried to rope drop, but some people beat us to I it. I know, people they're, were here. They're bigger fans than we are. Bigger fans of the dish. <laughs> All right, so here's our deconstructed key lime pie for $6.50. Flexible key lime curd, key lime in quotes, mousse. Oh, I forgot to ask. Graham cracker cake and meringues. Oh, look, they took a bite out of this one. Oh, what? <laughs> Not really. Who did I don't that? Know. But I want to show, you want to see how flexible this is? Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, dude, this is all right. <laughs> <laughs> they gave us a little hidden Mickey on our deconstructed BLT, a couple of hidden Mickeys. This was $7.25. This is pork belly, onion bread pudding, watercress espuma, and tomato jam. What's so this? That is the, I don't know, mayonnaise? Yeah, it's literally mayonnaise. Okay, <laughs> and then show me the espuma. It's this one here. Is it foam or is it just like, it's, it's, it's just like, like a, a mayonnaise? It's like a thick foam. Like a, like a sauce. Oh, it just tastes kind of like, um, like Grass. Green. Nice. <laughs> it tastes better than grass, I think, but it just has like a green flavor. And then we also got, we didn't realize that they offered this in non-alcoholic. Oh yeah. But this is the deconstructed strawberry mint julep for $4.50. And you can see this is the mint julep and then they, the strawberry has been deconstructed out. So you gotta Should squeeze I, it, it in. It? Should I do it? Yeah, give it a good squeeze. It's just frozen. Whoa, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. oh my. I'm sorry. That was an explosion of flavor. <laughs> I'm glad I did it over the cup. Right, I'm glad you were, it wasn't like one of those moments where you're staring down the garden hose. <laughs> Yeah, it's oh, mixing. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, yeah, look at this. There's a lot of room more for, like, like, user error in this more one. farts going on and everything. Well, this is this the is festival nice. for it. Oh, yeah, Festival of the Arts. Farts. <laughs> okay. Let's give it all a try. All right. Oh, it tastes... I could see how this would be really good with alcohol. This good, like, the alcohol is bourbon, though. Oh, okay. I would probably do vodka if I had to pick. I'd do gin. I haven't it's, tasted it yet. But it's I'd just, it literally is just mint and strawberry. It's yeah. so good. With some micro mint on top, too. Look at it's, that. Yeah, it's, that's delicious. I want to try. Okay. Oh, okay. It's very, um, kind of like an earthy, sweet flavor. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there is sweetness to it from the strawberry, but then the mint part brings it back down. Yeah, I like it. So, so this is the pork belly over here. Yes, this is, the, this is the bread tomato pudding. tomato jam and bread pudding. I'm breaking everything in half for us. Ooh, okay. So how do I cut this in half? I, I would just do this way. Oh, but then I don't, Take and not layers. everybody gets the crust. Oh, I think there's a crust on the bottom too. Let's see. I might have to touch it with my hand. Is that okay? That's okay, we're married. Oh, look at that. Give it a squeeze. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I know that this booth is called Deconstructed Dish. I understand the concept of it, but I wish that it was already constructed. Like, the same reason that I don't like to go to hibachi restaurants. Like, I want, I have to cook it myself. It's not hibachi. Not hibachi? No, not hibachi. What's the place? Like fondue? Fondue. Yeah, I don't want to go to a fondue restaurant. I have everything in one bite. So I've reconstructed my deconstructed dish. Mm -hmm. It's a big bite though. That pork belly is so good. Yeah? The only thing I don't like, the tomato jam is sweet. Oh. So that's like weird. I wish it was more of like a savory tomato. And then I think I would like it more. Okay. But the mayonnaise actually kind of ties it all together. Which yeah. is like a weird thing to say, but everything on their own, I don't think I would like particularly love the bread pudding or the jam by itself, but the pork belly, I mean, that's like where it's at. It's so good. Look at this. You hear that, you hear that crunch? Yes. Yeah. There's also little bits of like uh, mustard seed on top too. Yeah, I love that. Let's see. Let's get just this. That is very good. Wow. I got a little bit of everything too. I kind of like the bread pudding. I wish there was less rosemary in it. Okay. But I do like it. It's good. I mean, I would, yeah, I would get this again. Yeah, the, 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 uh, the mayonnaise. That's where it's at. <laughs> so, oh, look at that. So this is like a returning favorite. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything here. Yeah, do it. Reconstruct that deconstructed dish. Oh, 
That's why it was in quotes as key line because it looked like a little key line. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't have to ask him. Figured it out. <laughs> that was real nice. It was great. Give me some flavors. Sweet with a little bit of tart. Yeah. On the key lime. The graham crackers. It's like a wheat flavor, but a little bit sweet. And then the raspberry is nice too because it's just like fresh raspberry. Yeah. I like I would need to get just this by itself because I didn't get a lot of flavor on this. Well the texture on that could be off-putting for some people. Oh, it's a little bit sticky. Oh, okay. That's good. That just tastes like key lime pie. Like mm. the filling of key lime pie. Okay. That's good. And then this by itself too. What's this? This is the key, key lime. lime. That's good. That tastes exactly like key lime pie, but like moussey. Because that like fluffy, airy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is delicious. It's delicious every year. I think that's I would why get it's it a again. returning dish. They yeah. keep bringing it back. Came back over to Cuisine Classique to get the Beef Wellington. We're going to get the Beef Wellington, which is a snack you can use a snack credit to get with the mush mushroom duck cells, prosciutto, and puff pastry with red wine demi-glaze for $8.75. Kind of excited to try this. All right, so I'm gonna flip it to this side because I think this is the more the more beautiful side. Oh, there it is. All right, so let's give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna cut it in half. Careful. I mean, it is very tender. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Is it good? It is really good, actually. It is good, but I wish it was cooked a little bit less well. Like, I wish it was more medium. Right. You know, the flavor is there and it is tender. Okay. I, I think I'm a little bit underwhelmed though. I think that the sauce is a little teeny bit too sweet for me. Okay. Like just the teensiest bit. You try it. Okay. So I just had a bite of the potatoes with the like sauce. It was delicious. And I feel like the potatoes have like a, a slight truffle flavor. It doesn't say what the potatoes are. Taste them. They taste a little truffly. Those are truffle mashed potatoes. Right? Okay. So yeah. the potatoes are delicious. Yeah. I take a whole bowl of those. Give me a bowl of potatoes. <laughs> it needs salt. Right, it's like a teeny bit sweet almost. Yeah. It's still good. And yeah, yeah the, the the beef is like way overdone. But it does have a good flavor. The mushroom, the prosciutto, and the beef, and the red wine demi glaze all go really good together. Yeah. But it is cold and it's overcooked, so. <laughs> Take that with, <laughs> do with that what you will. Well, it's so weird because the booth just opened. So you think no. you would get the best cut in the morning. Right. Because it's like, you know what I mean? I guess not. Maybe they've been cooking it since 9 a.m. Mm, maybe. And that one's, yeah, those are truffle potatoes for sure. They were so good. That's just a carrot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that carrot review. The last time that we came, the chalk art wasn't happening because it was raining. But right now they have the sign out and I think they're all getting ready to start working. You can see some people have already brought their chalk supplies over. Here it is. Okay. This is cool. See, they're doing it right now. Festival of the Arts 2024. I just noticed this figment up here. It's a little bit different. Here's something else that's happening is figments brush with the masters. So you pick up this for $9.99 and then you get a completer prize. But you have to go around and find all of these pieces of art. But instead of like the Mona Lisa, it's figment, you know? And that's fun. And then you put that sticker wherever you found it. So the prizes for brush with the masters are these little ceramic figures that you can paint on your own. They've got Minnie, figment, and Mickey. That's a really nice prize for $9.99. All right, I convinced Jen to come over here to the Craftsman's Courtyard and get the grilled pork belly. Oh, so you had this last time. I'll link that video down below, but I didn't get to try it. Do you it. smell it? I do smell it. That's, <laughs> if you wanted Smell-O-Vision, <laughs> get you some stinky cheese Smell-O-Vision oh right gosh. now. That's the rat It doesn't smell good, but I it know it tastes so good. It so bad. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm gonna try that and then I'll let you know what I think of it. Yeah, so just to refresh, you can use a dining or a, a snack credit for it on it. It is salsa verde, broccoli rabe, pickled peppers, and raclette cheese on grilled sourdough for six seventy-five. All right, let's do it. All right, so here it is. Okay, so the last time that you tried it, you said the creamy stuff, you really liked it. That's the salsa verde. Okay. You were like so the creamy stuff. This is the grilled pork belly. It was six dollars and seventy-five cents. Salsa verde, broccoli rabe, pickled peppers, and raclette cheese on grilled sourdough. 
So the grilled sourdough is harder to get through with these plastic knives. Yeah. But it's well worth it. Let's you see. Know, as we all know, sourdough is a chewier bread. Can you see the inside there? I'm so. having a harder time cutting through whatever the broccoli rob. Oh. Yeah. Do you hear that note? Yeah. Wow. He's doing inward inward breathing. Yeah. Wow. That was good. That was impressive. Yeah. Okay, so what if I ate it like a sandwich, like a, a handheld? Yeah, do it. Okay, I just gotta get this one broccoli piece. Let's see. Oh, this is my favorite song. Is it? Yeah. Okay, should I, can I do it? Yeah. I, last time I had it, the broccoli wasn't as broccoli. <laughs> like it's stringy. I love the spice of the pickled um, jalapeno. The cheese smells so bad, but tastes so good. It's just buttery and creamy. And the chew of the bread, like, soaks everything up. It is very good. Hard to eat, but very good. I definitely got a lot more steak this time. I got the skirt steak. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I got it. <laughs> Grilled onions and mushrooms, blue cheese fondue, and skirt steak. This was $7. This one cost more than your pork. Did it? Yeah, also another snack credit. I did want to mention we don't have the dining plan right now, but I did want like I wanted to tell you guys because it's back now which things are available for snack credit and it's most things. Whoa, whoa. Choking a little bit. I wouldn't order that again. The steak's chewy, mm -hmm. the blue cheese is delicious, and the bun is good, but like the pork belly is much better. It's weird though because like this isn't pork belly, is it? No, it just looks like a piece of pork. Right? So I'm confused by it. I mean, it tastes great, but it just... Maybe it's a technicality. What do you mean? Like, it's not what we normally call pork belly. It's just from the pork's belly. Um, maybe. Right? Hmm. This is really good, though. I do I do really like this. And I think, for me, what really pushes it over the edge is the pickled pepper. Hmm. I love that. So, for Festival of the Arts, Joffrey's has different drinks. This one's called the Brushstroke Berry Bliss. A vibrant combination of frozen lemonade, Minute Maid lemonade, Raspberry syrup and iced tea garnished with lemon and each different Joffrey's booth has a different one and they're all new for this year. So now we are headed in a clockwise manner around World Showcase, heading towards Mexico first. They are. They're out here with the marimbas. some friends and they got the black and white bubble tea. It's black tea milk chocolate with black and white boba pearls. That was $8.75. I like the little Oreo Mickey ears on I top. love it. And they got the General Tso's Shumai. No other description provided other than that and it was $10.75. <laughs> Looks good though. But I had these last year and they were really good. Continuing our way around the festival. McCullough, we have some works by McCullough at our house. How much do you think so the big one is? Oh, this is part of the collection. So there's like four pieces of art that he considers the collection. And each one of these have little hidden things in them. You know, like the carousel horse here. You've got hidden Mickeys up here. You got orange bird over there. You got some like cactuses and a tree right there. Another hidden Mickey, hidden Mickey. Mr. Toad. What else do you guys see? There's a Dole Whip right there. Hey, this is, it looks like an elephant, maybe, down there. Yeah. A couple more hidden Mickeys down there. This, maybe a country bear. Hitchhiking ghosts right there. We got Tiki, like the Shruggy from Polynesian. More hidden Mickeys in the clouds. So each one of these particular pieces all have hidden things in them. Let's see if I can find that wall statue. Here it is. This one. Okay, so we can oh. see hidden Mickeys, hidden Mickeys, hidden Mickeys, hidden Mickeys everywhere. Yeah. Lots of them. Wow. I bet you there's a hundred of them. This is a $1,450 painting. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's very beautiful. I like the um, how they framed it and everything too. Yeah, it's very nice. 
Holy cow. But this one seems to be all Mickey's, nothing else. Mm. Does this one have hidden stuff in it? Was this another one of them? Oh, it is. World Showcase. This one's awesome. Look at that. Yeah, there's a bunch of hidden Mickey's in this one. For sure. That one up there, too. It's that one. This one? It's a good question. I think it's... It's like everything. Yeah, it's all of the different major movies, I think. Hey, this one's like Beauty and the Beast right here. Yeah. This one's Frozen. Oh, I thought that was um, Cinderella. Oh, I thought it looked kind of icy, right? Is this uh, one frozen down here? Maybe. Okay. It's, it's pretty like neat. Down yeah. Space Mountain. Yeah. This is fun. So, like, Princess Bride, right? The Bride. This. This I is want, Labyrinth. I want this. There's Beetlejuice. But doesn't it look like Daria? This this looks like Trent. Yeah. This is awesome. Uh, this one down here is Alien. And the Wicked Witch oh, of the East. Weird. What? The Alien one. Yeah. Look, there they are getting married from Beetlejuice. It's fun. He does look like Trent. Yeah, right? Yeah, look at this Iron Giant one. Oh, yeah, look, here's a, a little different version of them. Ah, look at this. Andy Warhol. Look at that. Edward Scissorhands. So these are from, these up here are from an artist named Nomi. But these, I don't know what the artist's yeah. name is. Yes, if you love Vouv, Vouv Rose. Oh, this is my favorite Vouv. Or like crossbody it's pretty nice yeah also if you have a friend that's a real estate agent <laughs> right there there it is that's pretty fun look at this one it has the olive and everything oh it looks like a real olive i know it's fun there it is maria stuckley the name of the piece is the future started in 1982 and this is the official poster of the international festival of the arts 2024 i love it and you get it right here how much is it? It doesn't say how much it is. Future began in 1982. That poster, turns out, was $40. So there you go. I like it. It's very nice. Just keeping you guys up to date, we are making our way around World Showcase still. Just past Germany, heading into... Well, we're still heading into Germany. <laughs> and then we're going to head into Italy. And we're trying to make our way over to Japan. That's our next food stop. This is a booth called Noah Fine Art. Oh, you and me together forever. There he is. He's got a suitcase and a dream. I like these. Oh, I like these like neon in color ones. That's fun. There he is. Mickey on that in that movie Wild Hogs. I kind of wonder like who these are geared towards. I don't know. Like what? For you like know? I feel like people would buy this one with Han and Chewie. No, it looks like Calvin and Hobbes. Oh, that is fun. But I mean like this specifically. Yeah. It's geared towards me. Is I'm gonna it? buy it. <laughs> I kinda like this because Mickey and Minnie kinda look like ghosts. Spooky. But they're also in an RV. And you know I'm in my RV era right now. I know, you really are. I'm loving RVs. You guys didn't know this, what? but he sent me a you video of the RV that he wanted. Yeah. I, I feel like we were this close to buying an RV that day. Oh. Right? I didn't know we were that close. We were pretty close. We were pretty close. It was, it was pretty nice, and the price was okay. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah, so I was like, should we do it? We didn't do it. We didn't do it. But like, or we? did we? <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> so Alex Meyer right now is doing an animation academy or he just finished. Hey, how's it going? And there's another show at 1.30. But what they were doing is they were kind of like, they gave everybody clipboards and some paper and pen or paper and pencil and taught them how to draw Orange Bird. Just past the America Pavilion. This is something that's here. The Crazy Chocolate Funnel Cake Sandwich. That's what we're going to get. Mini funnel cake sandwich with vanilla ice cream, rainbow whipped cream, strawberry sauce, powdered sugar and sprinkles for $12. But it is also available on the dining plan. $12 for a snack pretty good that's a pretty good use of your snack credit so this is the crazy chocolate funnel cake sandwich rainbow whipped cream strawberry sauce and sprinkles oh it's whipped cream on the top yeah it's oh, kind of it ice cream it's kind of fun right yeah i thought that the piece of uh, ice cream was going to be bigger like the look at it from the picture it was huge and i know they like they gave this to me hot so i know it melted a little bit but still like I thought there was going to be more. Oh, yeah, you can see it definitely melted. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll give it a try. Also, the drummers just started in Japan. Ooh, it was so crunchy. Oh. It was like crunchy and chewy. Still a little bit warm. And drummy. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys where we're at. So we are behind the temple in Japan. Just down from the quick service restaurant there is with the thatched roof. 
then we're in the gardens back here. And I wanted to show you guys this. There's a statue off in the woods. And I wanted to see if I was correct with this. We think this is a Tengu? If somebody knows, please leave us a comment down below because there are no plaques anywhere, nothing telling us what's going on here. But we believe that this is a Tengu. Mysterious bird man of the mountains and forests. There's an interesting perspective over here of the drummers. They are all done now. Next stop, Goshiki. Delectable dishes featuring the five colors of Japanese cuisine. Oh, what are the five colors? I need to learn more about this. Wagyu bun, which I think we're gonna get, 975 with steamed bun filled with American Wagyu beef served with green shiso sauce. The sushi donut is for 875. Donut shaped sushi featuring salmon, tuna, shrimp, cucumbers, and sesame seed over a decorated plate of wasabi aioli, sriracha aioli, and eel sauce. And then we're not gonna get the mochi. We actually didn't get the sushi donut, but here they are making it right here. You see they're adding all the fish. Right now they're adding the shrimp to the donut. Our friends did get the mochi though. What is Pocky on it? Yeah, it looks pretty nice. It does look good. Wait, what's inside this mochi? Do you remember? Full of fresh strawberry bean paste and white chocolate. Oh yeah, there's the bean paste right there. Oh, it looks good. Oh. Does it? I think it looks good. <laughs> not a fan of red bean paste. That's not Does my it? thing. You know what I miss? I miss when they had the, um, what is it called when it's in the shape of a fish? The dessert that's in the shape of the fish. You know oh, what I mean? Goodness. With the bean yeah. paste? Yeah, yeah, I don't I know. I miss that takiyaki. Uh, takiyaki. Is that what Isn't it is? Isn't that what the octopus? Is that octopus? the octopus one? Yeah. Well, one, a few, a few times ago. Taiyaki. Taiyaki, that's what it was. They had it where it was in the shape of the fish and it was so cute. Yeah. Yeah, they should do that again. All right. Here let's... is our Wagyu, uh, what is it, like bun? Yeah, it's, it's our a Wagyu, Wagyu bun. bun. Let's see. Now, when you came to the festival last time, you saw our friends from the theme park foodies. Yeah. And they said that it seemed strange to to grind up Wagyu. Yeah. Let's see the inside here. Oh, I mean, it looks... Uh... I wouldn't know this is Wagyu unless you told me. No, but does it look like there's fillers in there too? I don't know. Like a lot of like onion and stuff. Things to like really create an umami flavor. So it says, a steam bun filled with American Wagyu beef served with green shiso sauce. What's green shiso sauce? Just, it tastes very green. Tastes green? I'm gonna yeah. use my finger. Lemon? I don't or know. lime maybe? There's definitely oil in there, like an olive oil. I'm gonna give this a taste. You ready? And something green. It's a very fresh flavored sauce. You know what this reminds me of? What? Pandora? A sloppy joe without the sauce. Oh, okay. It, it very much reminds me of a sloppy joe without the tomato base. Okay, that's a bit strange, right? I got some of the green sauce on there. Wow. Right? I can catch that. Yeah, there's onion in there for sure. Mm. It's a very like hearty flavor. Oh yeah. But yeah, couldn't tell that this was Wagyu. A little bit sweet. Yeah. Like slightly sweet. I think that's from the bun. Yeah. Mm. It is good. Oh. But like. Very tender. If you had just told me this was just a beef bun, I still would have bought it. You know? And, it, and I would have been none the wiser. Yeah. Disney, you could have been saving some money. <laughs> I would not get it again, but I am glad I tried it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. I was debating on getting the bun or the sushi donut, and I, I'm glad I tried this, but I kind of wish I'd gotten the donut. Oh no. I know. We'll come back, we'll come back and I'll get the donut. Gotta, gotta come back to get that backpack. I'm so full right now though, I can't eat a single thing more. This booth has all Star Wars stuff. We got Boba Fett over here. We got Darth Vader, we got Grogu right there. Everybody has a different, like these are all different artists. Kristen Wagner. Some of these are not saying who the artist is. Look, there's Greedo with Han in his eyes. I like how it makes it look like Greedo is just in love with Han. I like that there's such an eclectic collection of Disney art. It's pretty neat. Chris Huminga, 
I like this a lot. Ashley Taylor. It's called Together in Harmony. Gummy Bears. Chris Uminga. Shout out. Steve Thompson doing this Tarzan. This is cool because it feels like it's like ink. This is awesome. Like I love the detail of this. Also Morgan Dita right here with the spin of fin. Oh. Mickey with his Keyblade. Dave Perillo doing the Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. It's cool, and the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, and Journey into Imagination. I like all those a lot. There were some things that we did miss out on, like Jen wanted to go to France, we're just too full. I needed to go to the Encanto booth because they have a new dessert, but we definitely will be back again because just a few things that we haven't done yet that it's all new that we didn't get to do this time, but we are headed to the boat right now to the Friendship to head back to the front. We are off the Friendship, quick three minute trip over. It definitely was quicker to take the boat across. Than to walk. And it comes every 15 minutes and the last boat comes at 7.30. Yeah. So. It was easier. Now we're back at the middle of the park. It's nice and breezy. Oh yeah. yeah. I loved it. There's a saxophonist here playing named Don Black. And he is very good. Very enjoyable to watch. It's your girl. It is Carly Rae. Carly Rae. She really is my girl. Carly Rae and Brittany, those are my girls. Okay. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> the saxophonist was playing you hear him? Call Me Maybe. He's doing all the best songs. Yeah. But you were in my way. <laughs> On the way out, we're passing by the kids chalk area where they have chalk set up and kids can just come out here and be the artist that they are and create these masterpieces. Like this one, right here masterpiece there it is that is the reason that we are leaving right there monorail not the monorail the sky all right there you have it that was our trip out to festival of the arts favorite festival it's a lot of fun always love seeing the art love eating the food it's a little windy right now it's about to storm so we are gonna head out but we will be back before the festival ends because yeah. there's a couple of things i didn't get to have today i was just too full i gotta get that backpack the food was too filling yeah, no, yeah. no, I could eat more. Could you? Yeah. I don't know. Everything we had was great, though. It was. Everything was good. I wish the only thing that I was a bit disappointed in was the beef Wellington could have been a little oh, bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the steak uh, baguette bun thing that I got could have been better. I liked everything I had. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. With that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>